fun. I don't think it's gonna do that again. Yeah, it might. Yeah, probably just shoot up a straight, straight stream. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. When we first set up our garden, I did not make irrigation a priority, and so I wasted so much time hand watering. And I am determined not to make that same mistake twice. So now that we have a high tunnel and it needs water, we are gonna get irrigation in there ASAP. It's about 40 to 50 feet of, of new line that we need to run in order to get water there. So for me, it seems like it's just on the line of, do we rent a trencher and pay that expense or do we just do it by hand? with a pickaxe. So I'll let you know in the next 10 or 20 minutes if I really regret my decision using a pickaxe. Okay, I just realized I have a subsoiler on the tractor, so I'm gonna bring that out here. That'll at least get this stretch. <laughs> So I was able to make like two to three passes with the tractor until I saw something on the back that I didn't like. The three point hitch, the top link that connected to that subsoiler was not really the right length and so it was causing some issues and I didn't wanna risk breaking anything on that back of the tractor. The subsoiler did loosen up the dirt quite a bit and we just topped it off here with a few more passes of the pickaxe. So it wasn't that bad. The last part we have to do is now meet this trench up with the existing pipe that's already in the ground. So this takes a little bit more finesse because you want to be careful not to pickaxe into the existing pipe that's already there and cause more problems to, to deal with. Once we got everything all dug out, then Cam went back and measured everything for real this time. Once we measured it, we realized it was quite a bit longer than what you originally thought. It was 70, about 75 feet of trench, right? Yeah, yeah, 75 feet, because you, you have to remember to take into account the bends. Like if you're 18 inches deep and then you have to come up, that's 18 inches more that you're coming vertical. Right. And so, and so all that adds a lot more than what you visually think is there. So how deep was the trench? actually like what's what's our like frost line, oh yeah water line yeah so our frost line here in arkansas is 14 inches deep okay. and so i just for good measure i went between 16 and 18 inches on this trench so there are a couple of places where we're gonna have water access coming out of this water line one is right outside the tunnel and the other is just inside the tunnel because i really wanted to have the ability to get to a hose, to turn things on and off inside of the tunnel. That's one of the things that really kind of bothered me about my other tunnel is I'd have to like haul a hose in there and then it would just get all over everything and I'd be tripping on it. And I just wanted one inside and one outside and the outside one will serve for the outside of the garden and then the inside will be for the tunnel exclusively. Yeah, we have overhead irrigation, we have drip, I'm gonna have hand watering and the overhead irrigation is divided up into two zones. So we just are building this manifold to have access to all of those things. My parents are in town for a little bit and so my dad is, he's here helping, helping us put all this pipe in. So we ran into an issue because we, we have one of those pipe cutters but we could not locate it. It's somewhere in the garage. Somewhere in the know. garage. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it right after we finish this project. That's how it goes. I'm missing a pocket knife too, and I know I'll find that right after I buy another one. But that's another story. So I thought we could get away with making all these pipe cuts with a really sharp, like fine-toothed wood saw, but that's not, it's just, it's just not working. And so that coupled with some pipe fittings that we kind of needed to get also that I, messed up on we sent my dad in to get he, he's going to the store right now to get these pipe fittings so he'll be back soon and then we can then we can get rolling again and the pipe cutter pipe cutter and some better pipe fittings that are more suited for this job yeah so hopefully we can move a little bit faster here once we get the right tools for the job yeah we'll get it done Let's see, Yeah, this, this is on an elbow yeah. right now. Yeah. So I need to take the elbow off and put it on a T because this is no, no longer the end of the line. Here's one for you. 
how do you get a farm girl to like you? First, a tractor. <laughs> you want another one, do you? What do you call a goat on a mountain? A hillbilly. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> we got a cutter now. This should go a lot smoother. <laughs> the other one I had was Harbor Freight. So. Slices it like butter. Look at that. Woo! That was just a practice cut. But this is <laughs> where the saw blade. <laughs> That's with the tool. So. That's better. Very good. Tighten. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Okay. It's only a small piece. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. There. Let's just try it. Well, this goes until your hands start hurting. There. Okay. Ooh, that's straight. Here I have the T-fitting that I've already secured on the bottom of the hydrant, and now I'm putting it into the PEX pipe. Then I'm securing that with some PEX clamp, pipe clamps, and then running the new PEX line down the trench so we can elbow on that 90 and then run it into the tunnel. I'm on, I'm on, I'm it's so smooth. I can't look at it while I clamp. I gotta. I need my undivided attention here. Let's see. <laughs> Boom. This one. Um, the door coming right there, so a little bit. Like right at the end of the grass, or for a little further in, because I guess you're mowing the grass. Tight bit in, just because of the mowing. Yeah. Okay. So I need that. I'll just send you to the store to get all the stuff. Because <laughs> I won't forget, won't forget anything. anything. Okay, cool. We are building out a custom spigot here because I wanted the manifold to be parallel to the ground so that nothing was pulling or you know folding at weird angles and things like that there are some positives and negatives of that and the negative thing was that we are not using a frost free hydrant and that runs the risk of things freezing up and bursting over the winter and we also outside as well we use the same kind of pipe what kind of pipe was that it's just a like a one inch galvanized steel. You can pick that up at any hardware store. But yeah, we put that in to to have another custom spigot to put another the, manifold yeah, on for put the another, outside. Yeah, to put another manifold on for the outside drip lines and hoses. But we we'll probably eventually switch that over to a frost free hydrant in, in the future. The option one is to keep what we have. And then during the winter time, we completely shut off the water line. We have the ability to shut off the entire line to the garden and we can open everything up so that when it freezes, nothing is bursting. At the same time, the kids use that same water line to get water for the chickens and things like that. So it, I don't know. We just, I'm not really sure what is better. 
it, yeah. I didn't like that the the frost rehydrants they don't they just come like straight down or come out at an angle and I felt like um, at least the one inside the tunnel I I definitely wanted it to go out horizontally and yeah. and not down towards the ground. Yeah. I think we'll just we're just going to have to probably use it for a year or a time and then just kind of see how how we're implementing it and and go from there. If we need to switch it, we will. If we don't, then, then we won't need to. One of the last steps here was to glue together the irrigation manifold. I do not recommend doing this indoors, but it was freezing cold that day. And so Cam brought it inside. It smelled so bad. We separated it out into four valves. And the goal with the spacing and stuff like that was just to make sure that there was enough room to add automatic timers when we were going to do that later. I'm not really sure what kind of timer I'm gonna use yet. And so I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of room for those. Each zone is going to have an on and off valve and we will add on the pressure regulators and the filters. All that is gonna come later on when we set up the drip irrigation and the overhead irrigation. The only way to like ever get this off is to like break it off. No to undo it right here yeah but like you can't like really unscrew it though right because it's got this huge manifold yeah that's true but yeah that's a good point does it matter though it probably doesn't matter well it only matters if you are planning on taking this apart and like i'm not planning on it if <laughs> nobody plans on you know things not working but well the other thing is we we could I guess if we if ever... you wanted to keep this, we could, we could kind of like hold this in place, the white part, turn the water off and unscrew here. We could unscrew this. Okay. And then, and then, you know, and then yeah. after this whole assembly is off, then, then put a new one on. And then at that time we'd probably put a union on because then we'd be like, okay, we should have done that. Okay. So. I'm sure it's fine. Originally, I had planned on having this entire setup be parallel to the ground and actually sitting right on the dirt. But where the pipe came up, it was raised above and we decided that it would probably be a little bit better just to have a little wiggle room and to build a platform underneath this whole setup instead. And then we're going to add a, a lid on the top to protect it everything. It looks good. <laughs> That's what you told me before. I know, I know. <laughs> and it was off. So then like, yeah, whatever the length of this this wood combination is, is how high I need to make the platform. You're saying like a little lip like that? So it's yeah. kind of in a, in like. So it's kind of enclosed? You put a lid on it and then you could store stuff on here if you wanted. No, I don't want to store stuff on here. Well, you I don't could, you like... could just put stuff on there, but. Yeah. yeah you don't, you, what, don't worry about that. That's, that's weird. That's funny. I don't think it's going to do that again. Yeah, it might, yeah, probably just shoot up a straight, straight stream. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> oh. 